Hey, this is a little teaser video on uh, to let you guys know what I'm going to have coming up here, which I think a lot of basement owners or builders are going to be interested in. But what started all this was a major basement clone manufacturer in Austin, Texas contacted me about differences in my amp as compared to the schematic and he really got me looking into this old this is the old beat up basement uh, 1960 and he had some questions because he's designing a new basement clone which hopefully in the next near future I'm not sure exactly when I will be getting one to demo and it's going to be compared against this amp but when he asked some questions, and I've had other questions about this, this is the presence pot, this is the middle, this is the uh, oh, base, yeah that's the base, this is the, the treble over here, and then the two volumes. This is pretty common. I, I, if you look on the web, they show that Fender added this uh, 4.7K ohm resistor to ground to eliminate some DC voltage scratchiness that was in the present circuit. They added this, they showed 1959, late 1959, 1960. So in the process, I showed uh, this amp builder that, hey, I've also got this 56K resistor here on the middle pot. And he said, oh, that's unusual. I've never seen that. And after, I didn't think much about it. And so then it turns out I found some other differences, which I'm going to go into on my next few videos. I'm waiting on some parts. And it's, that's why I'm going to make this a teaser, because I'm not going to tell you exactly other differences that are in the amp that Fender did that they never documented in their schematics. They're just as bad as the company I used to work for. We were the same way. We would make changes on uh, major schematics and never document it. And we used to complain about it all the time because we would use those to build tools and stuff and it wouldn't have all the updates and they just all knew, you know, the few little variations that they had to do when they were building these. And so I'll show you a few. They, they're not a whole bunch of difference between the schematic that everybody uses, but the few little differences will make a pretty good difference in tone. So they're pretty significant. But this one's here, I'm going to leave it, and I was actually going to take this, I'm trying to get the 59 basement to sound exactly like this, and that's why I'm going to do these other videos. I'm going to convert it, the differences that I found in this amp that I didn't realize I'm going to do in the 59, which are actually somebody changed it like the schematics. I'm thinking they tried to correct it, and they actually messed it up. But I'm going to disconnect this lead right here. And for the reason I don't think this is factory installed is because the eyelet is not filled with solder. See, it? this is a real nice solder joint. Uh, I think some of these I may have done. The fender always filled these eyelets in with solder. And this one is just barely got enough solder to hold that thing in there. And the ground connection doesn't look very good either so uh, this looks more you know factory installed so I'm just going to disconnect this and see if that changes the tone I have a feeling it's not going to change a whole bunch but uh, anyway just want to let you know that that series is coming up also, I'm going to show you how to add this uh, bias pot, which my 59 doesn't have. And that is going to uh, help me bias those. 59 tubes are a little bit on the cold side, so I want to be able to adjust them and make them a little hotter. But that's it. A little teaser for now. Um, 
I'll talk to you guys later.